where to fly. Look, look, look at this. Look, Whatever look. you want. Eh? I mean, this is unbelievable. Eh? When I came to the runway to prepare the planes, eh, there was absolutely no wind. And in this 10, 15 minutes, again, we have here the wind. And of course, we have the crosswind. Not just the side wind, but the crosswind day. Eh? <laughs> yes. eh, and I wasn't flying for 20 days. I think that the last time we were flying Captain Blush was on in the, the quarry. Yeah, the 1st of January. And now it's what? 19th. 19, 19 almost three days weeks without the flying and exactly today the wind starts and of course exactly today we have the maiden flight to do but it doesn't matter short videos first the flying later the talking first of all subscribers and viewers thanks for support for visiting our channel for all your comments for your subscriptions and for sharing and spreading the passion for the rc plane from this channel to the rest of the world day this is the channel when two brothers from slovenia we will try to film as many different planes as possible while we are filming and of course we want to show you the the, the truth about this hobby and that is to have the ultimate fun because the fun is the point of this and of course on this channel we don't edit nothing what you see is what you get we turn the camera on no preparations and we show you all and what do we have today just a few words of course first let me see what we will see in this video we must say at least introduction the beautiful and sexy brand new release from the hobby king the hellcat reno racer the nugget i will call it the golden nugget because in fact aha uh -huh, the little nugget yes, but yes. to me it looks like the gold nugget because it have a little gold paint on almost one meter mink span that will run on four cell mink span Wings pen. The mink. <laughs> mink. Do you know what is mink? Yeah, the mink. Yeah, the, the cat from the mink. The, yeah. Yeah. They live in Alaska. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> One day we will go uh, and hunt the, the mink. Say so we will make our hats for the winter. But of course, say hey, uh, almost one meter wingspan that runs on the four cell and of course a beautiful and sexy hand tosser for which we will ask today, of course, Captain Blush to hand toss the plane for the first time until the plane is uh, uh, trimmed good and that's it. Eh? You don't have to pretend nothing on the runway. You're not here to prove something to someone. Of course, if you will try to prove something to someone, you will throw the plane for the first time and you will have a hundred spectators behind you. But since we are here alone, Captain Blush, and but we, the viewers, you are with us, uh, uh, Captain Blush will hand toss this plane <coughs> even more because since my hand accident, I, oh, I just can't hand toss good anymore with my left hand. Eh? Yes, um, yes. And that's it? That's what she said, yes. Yeah, of course. Good enough, Captain Blush. Turn the radio on. I have said this to four minutes. Now, of course, I wanted just to say uh, that this is the second plane in the beautiful and sexy Hobby King Reno Racer collection. You have the beautiful Galloping Ghost. You will see the link below. And of course, will this be the maiden flight or the maiden crash? Well, who the hell knows if we don't try. So this is it, Captain Black. Hey, yes. Aha, uh -huh. did you? Yeah, where you will stand? Yeah, here. So I will see you good. Wait, I will check behind the camera. You don't have to go far away. Go a little, a few steps. Wait. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, it would be good that I have uh, also uh, uh, balanced the prop before the flight, but I didn't because I don't have time. Try if something is rubbing. Is it okay? Yes. Wait. Yeah, I don't know, like this, Captain Blush. Eh? I will throw it like my, my nitro one. <laughs> yeah, and let's hope for the best. Of course, yeah, just wait, wait, Captain Blush. Let me prepare myself because we must still first check something. Do you see it? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, I will come here. Then rose! Right, left, up, down, left, right, a little throttle. And that's it. Eh? I will go in the high rates. I will not put full throttle and Captain Blush, whatever happens, that's it. Eh? Yes. Should I put the throttle so you have some feeling? Yeah, they. Just for the feeling. Are you ready? That's it. Eh? Okay. Yeah, I didn't put the full throttle. That's it. Yeah, I still have more. Yeah, but what? It wasn't, was nothing. wasn't it enough? Well, it didn't feel like enough. Yeah, but okay. Maybe should I will put the full throttle or what? Yes. Of course, the point is that we have this crazy sun in such a way. Oh, I don't know. You this fly is, there. I will have to fly again somehow different than usually. Because at this time of year, it's so white sun and it's really hard to see it. Eh? So this is it. Eh? Yes. This is it, Captain Blush, now or never. Yeah. Yeah, go bush. Woo! 
<laughs> I have the battery all the way forward. Oh, 2200 all the way forward. It is now like it's now slider, right? I can't put it anymore forward. I will trim first. Uh -huh. A little better. I will come closer. Do you see it good? Uh huh. Let's see. I know I have something there. Now I don't like the flying like this because <laughs> yeah, it's you're not, not my usual place. Yes, I can I can feel you here. You see it good? Uh huh. Uh -huh. A little more down. Wait. A little to the left. Yeah, now left right trimming is not needed now because it's windy. Uh huh. I'm left with no trimming anymore, eh? Yeah. That's it, I can't trim down anymore. So I just wonder if I will fly full throttle. Hey, it behaves really good. Yeah. And it tracks really good, high rates. Throttle cut. Let's see how it glides. <laughs> Did I even say oh yeah? No. Oh yeah. But it's really sexy, huh? Yes. It looks I will pretty come cool. Come on slow from that side. I can set it to four minutes. One minute. Ha, I don't know. A little more. One more fly by and then I will land, huh? Yes. First time is you need to be more precautious of the consumption. Yes. So you'll know for the next time, yes. Now we'll You can land your usual way. Land from my usual side, like always, a little back. 30 seconds. It doesn't want to go down, eh? This is it! And hey, now taxi I back, think... taxi back! Uh, yeah, taxi back, yeah. I think that for the first time I was flaring the plane, eh? Yes. Of course, I will put the... Throttle cut? The throttle cut on. I will go quick. You can get Captain Fly to check her out. Yes. In the meanwhile. This is such an unusual winter because today it's almost 10 degrees Celsius. And today I was driving with company car and there was snowing on the other side of the country so it's really different strange weather here. So let me get the checker. So he was flying. Yes. Huh? Yes. Hey, I can say that this was for once really good landing. 
Okay. Yes, that was. F you have flared it for a very long time, huh? Yeah, but do you know why? Why? Because I wasn't aiming at the carpet this time. I don't know what. Why are you usually aiming at the carpet? Oh, eh? I don't know, eh? Who cares about the carpet? Yeah. If I don't aim at the carpet, I make pretty good landing scent, of course. I didn't want to land at the beginning of the runway because show. Yeah. Have you shown? Yes. Piles of dirt, eh? and I don't want to crash the plane for the first time on the mole uh, hump. Hump, eh? So this is it, eh? Uh, the perfect landing end, of course. You have here beautiful protection. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Exactly, it went on the plastic and it was really, really great. Eh? <sighs> uh, oh, I love it. Eh? No, I will, will you even, e even if you will grab the plane in your hand, you will feel that it's really, it feels light. And if the plane feels light, usually that means that it does fly pretty good. Eh? Yes. But, uh -huh, show here. What? Now I will show you here the place for the battery. I was using 2200. This is for cell. Four cell battery. So it, yeah, it all is... the way forward. Uh -huh. All the way forward is it I can get it. Yeah, but there's almost no down elevator. Right? Yeah, maybe not after the landing because uh -huh. hey, who knows, say. Hey. Yes. I will yeah, I have used all my trimming, say. Hey. Well, you check that at home, now check the battery. No, I will check it right now. I will, check it. I will just quickly plug it in back. Let's see. We must check this. What does the elevator look like? Yeah, but that's it. Eh? That's it. How does it look? Well, to me it looks even a bit more up. Still? Yeah. Because the plane was going a little up. So, yeah. yeah but now it is straight. Now, I mean, I have used all the trimmings and now ha I have now almost the straight elevator and still maybe it wanted to go a little up, so I don't know. You will fix, this, fix that manually at home? I and will fix it manually, manually or I can tell you this, maybe you can stuck even 2600 milliamp battery in. But then it will be not so easy to secure it anymore because this uh, was the perfect uh, position I just put inside, look, a little velcro and the battery is stuck behind this wall. Eh? Yes. Yeah, put the camera down, Captain Blush. Wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can put the camera down. Ah, first day. Eh? Wait, 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 quick, quick, quick. What? At least one. Uh -huh. For the thumbnail, maybe. Perfect. Do you see it? Yes. I will be able to cut out? Yes. Like this. Good enough? Good enough. I can turn the radio off, we still need it. Because we are taking the opportunity of this beautiful day to make free maiden flights. Not just one, my friends. And I will change this quick to another plane. Like this. And turn it off. What is it, Captain Blush? 66%. Us. Oh! Yeah, but you're flying slowly. Yeah. If you'll be flying ha, fast, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Eh. I will put it like this. Eh. I would leave it as it is. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Of course, I was flying a little, but I was trying, to, I was checking the elevator at home to see it was good. Oh, I don't know. Eh. I think that maybe I have put it a little too more up. Like I have said, I will manually put it a little down. I will untrim the trimmers and set it manually back to the to the straight elevator. Maybe I have put it a little up just in case because I didn't know what to expect on the first flight. But I will tell you this, that, what? What was the experience of this, eh? Well, you tell us. The plane, once it is trimmed, now it flies perfect, eh? Really easy to behave, easy to handle. It looks amazing in the air. The speed will also be great. 2200 milliamp battery set yourself for the four minutes if you will fly at full speed check again but i will tell you this that you must be careful on the takeoff because oh, i don't know eh? yeah maybe you will see on the camera this was scary eh? this was pretty scary stuff because i almost didn't save the plane on the takeoff now i do believe that one problem the big problem was that the plane was really really going up because of the up elevator because i wasn't even able to fly the plane in the air 
on more than 30-40% until I have trimmed the plane good. So I think that that was the problem on this takeoff. But still, you must remember that the planes like this do have a big tendency to go to the left. So when you will hand toss this plane, like we said on the first one, maybe you can already put it a little like this and hand toss it like this. Because if you will hand toss it like this, already it will go at full throttle, it will want to go in this way. So maybe compensate a little on hand launches like this. Like I have said, you don't have to prove nothing to anybody. Maybe two or three times ask someone to assist you and later, of course, you will be able to hand launch this plane on your own. Yes. There is another option. You can stuck yourself here inside if you can know how to set it good, some good gyro. And if you will have the gyro, you will be even able to hand launch the plane like this. Because if this plane did have the gyro, I would hand launch it like this. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because the gyro will help you at least for that takeoff. So the plane stays in one piece because it's really sad. I mean, on this channel, we don't show you how we are sad when we crash the plane. We take it with a smile, eh? but still inside, we do hurt after every crash, but it will happen from time to time. The point is just that you don't uh, become desperate and you don't fly anymore, that you still love this because once you will be in the air with the plane, that's it, the best feeling in the world. Eh? So this is Not it? Not many can compare to that. The assessment from zero to 10, I will give this plane at this point, <coughs> I will give it nine. And that is just because of that takeoff, because I really had a hard time to hand launch it. We will see the next time, if maybe that was just the problem of the elevator, and that's it. But otherwise, if you love fast planes, if you do love sexy, sexy, I don't know, Reno Racer planes, and if you already have the Mustang, well, then this is a must in your hangar. You will have the link below, click or not, who cares, but you will be one happy man pilot or, or even woman pilot if you will click on this plane and have it in your hand. So this is it. Uh, yes. Enough. We still have two more videos to film. Pilot Robert and Captain Blas signing off for Slovenia with brand new release from Hobby King. The Reno Racer collection. Almost one meter wingspan. Uh, Hellcat. The, the, I almost forget. Uh, the little nugget. That runs on four cell and it is really, really sexy and beautiful and I don't know what. And you have seen that with this plane I'm really feeling good because for once I have really flared good and the landing was a spot on it. Perfect. This is it. The captain was quick. Because what? Next. Next, please. <laughs> we love you all. Expect more pretty soon, eh?